and this is Aaron. Aaron, remember that time that God did the ten plagues on Pharaoh? On Pharaoh? I would tell these nice people, but I'm eight years old. You're going to have to jar my memory a bit. I'm your older brother, and my memory's not too good either, but okay. It all started when God came to us and said, Go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people free, so they can worship me in the desert. So we went to Pharaoh and we said, Pharaoh, let my people <coughs> free. And he said, no. <coughs> so, so, Aaron. so we threw down, Moses threw down a staff and it turned into a snake. But Pharaoh called his magicians and by their magic tricks, they did the same. But I threw down my staff and it swallowed up all of the magician's snakes. Pharaoh's heart was stubborn and would not let our people go. The very first plague was the plague of turning all the water in, to, in Egypt to blood. We, God told us, go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people free. If he does not, I will unleash a, a plague of turning all the water of Egypt into blood. So we went to Pharaoh and we said, Pharaoh, let my people free. <coughs> but he said, no. So we said, we will unleash a terrible plague of turning all the water in Egypt to blood. We will, you won't be able to drink it. The fish will die. But Pharaoh would not let our people go. So we reached our staff over the water, and it turned into blood. You couldn't drink it. The fish died in the water, so it smelled bad. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. That smelled terrible. Pee you. <laughs> <laughs> but Pharaoh's heart was still stubborn and would not let our people go. Are you, are you remembering now? Yeah, I remember. I think I can do the next few. The second plague was the plague of the frogs. Seven days had passed since the Lord struck the Nile. We went to God and said he did not let our people go. God said, go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. If he does not, tell Aaron to put his hand over the water of the Nile. Frogs will come out of the Nile. They will be in people's homes, clothes, beds, and kitchens. Frogs will be everywhere. So we went to Pharaoh and told him to let my people go. He said, I will not let your people go. So I told Aaron to put his hand over the water of the Nile. Frogs came out of the Nile. They were in, they were everywhere. Pharaoh called us and said, go, pray to your Lord. Tell him to take away these frogs. If he does, I will let your people go. So, we, so I went to the Lord and said, he says if you take away the frogs, he will let your people go. God did not believe Pharaoh, but he did what I asked, and he took away the frogs. All the frogs died in the land of Egypt, except for the ones that were in the Nile. But once Pharaoh was relieved, he hardened his heart and would not let our people go. The third plague was the plague of the gnats. We went to God and said he did not let our people go. God said, tell Aaron to put his staff over the land of Egypt, all the dust in the land of Egypt will turn into gnats. Gnats will be everywhere. So we went to Pharaoh and I told Aaron to put his staff over the land of Egypt. All the dust in the land of Egypt turned into gnats. The, but Pharaoh called his magicians. The magicians could do the blood and the frogs. But they could not do this one. His magician said, we cannot do this. This is the finger of God. But Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let our people go. The fourth plague was the plague of the flies. God said, go to Pharaoh early in the morning before he gets to the Nile and tell him to let my people go. If he does not, I will send large numbers of flies into the land of Egypt. But this day, I will treat the land of Goshen differently. 
There will not be large numbers of flies. <coughs> so we went to Pharaoh early in the morning before he got to the Nile and told him to let my people go. He said, I will not let your people go. So just as God had said, large numbers of flies came in through the land of Egypt. But this day there was not large numbers of flies in the land of Goshen, where God's, peoples, where God's people lived. Pharaoh called us and said, Go, pray to your Lord. Tell him to take away these flies. If he does, I will let your people go. So we, I went to the Lord and said, He says if you take away the flies, he will let our people go. God did not believe Pharaoh because he knew he already lied. But he did what I asked, and he took away the flies. But Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let our people go. Aaron, could you do the next one? I gotta take a break. <laughs> <laughs> the fifth plague is the plague of the livestock. God told us, go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people go. If he does not, I'll unleash a terrible plague on all of his livestock. Tomorrow, all of the livestock in Egypt will die. So we went to Pharaoh and we said, Pharaoh, let my people free. But he said no. So we said, I will unleash, unleash a terrible plague on all of your livestock, your camels, <coughs> your horses, your goats, your sheep. All of the animals will die. <coughs> so just as God said, the next day, all of the animals in the land of Egypt died. But the land where Goshen, but the land where the Israelites were, not one animal had died. But Pharaoh's heart remained stubborn and would not let our people go. The sixth plague was the plague of the boils. We went to God and said he did not let our people go. God said, go to Pharaoh and take soot from a furnace and throw it in front of him. It will turn into dust all over the land of Egypt. Boils will break out on everyone. So we went to Pharaoh and took soot from a furnace and threw it in front of him. It turned into dust all over the land of Egypt. Boils broke out on Pharaoh. But Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let our people go. The seventh plague is the plague of hail. God told us, go to Pharaoh and tell him to let my people free. If he does not, I will unleash the full force of my plagues on him and his land. So we went to Pharaoh and we said, Pharaoh, let my people free. But he said no. So he said, this time the Lord will unleash the full force of his plagues. He could have wiped you off the earth easily, but instead he used you as an example to spread his name throughout the land. Pharaoh's heart remained stubborn. So I reached out my staff to the sky and hail fell on the land of Egypt. We had given them a warning to bring all of their livestock in. And the officials that believed in the Lord brought in their livestock. But the other ones faced the consequences of the hail. All of everything in the fields died. It, the bark off of, it ripped the bark off of trees. Everything was destroyed. Pharaoh summoned us and said, This time I have sinned. Go, worship your Lord in the desert, but just stop the hail. Moses went to God and he said, He says if we stop this hail, he will let our people go. And God did just as Moses had asked and stopped the hail. But as soon as Pharaoh saw the hail and rain and thunder stop, he sinned again and his heart became stubborn and would not let our people go. The eighth plague was the plague of the locusts. We went to God and said he did not let our people go. God said, raise your staff into the air. The winds will pick up and locusts will blow into the land of Egypt. We went to Pharaoh and said, How much longer will you not listen to the Lord? Pharaoh said, If I let your people go, exactly who will be going? <coughs> and we said, Everyone, 
our women, our children, our young, our old, our flocks, our herds, everyone will be going. And Pharaoh said, no, you can only take the men, since that's what you've been asking for. And I said, no, we will be taking everyone. And we left Pharaoh. So I did what God said. I raised my staff into the air. The winds picked up and locusts blew into the land of Egypt. They ate everything that the hail left behind and filled the ground so that it was black. Pharaoh called us and said, I have sinned again. Take away this locust and I will let your people go. I went to the Lord and said, he says, if you take away the locust, he will let our people go. God didn't believe Pharaoh, but he did what I asked. The winds picked up and blew away all the locusts. But once all the locusts was gone, Pharaoh hardened his heart and would not let our people go. The ninth plague is the plague of darkness. God told us, raise your staff in the air and darkness will fall upon the land of Egypt. We did just as he said. We raised our staff in the air and darkness fell upon the land of Egypt. It was complete blackness. You couldn't see your hand in front of your face for three whole days. But the land where the, where the Israelites were had light. Pharaoh quickly summoned us and said, Go, take your people, leave. Just leave your flocks and herds behind. But Moses said, No, we must have our flocks and herds because we cannot worship the Lord without them. He said, Go, get out of my sight. Pharaoh said, Go, get out of my sight. I never want to see your face again. If I see your face again, you will die. And Moses said, I'll do just as you say. I will never see your face again. The tenth plague was the plague of the firstborn. We went to the Lord and said he did not let our people go. God said, spread the word in the land of Goshen to take blood from a sacrificed lamb or goat and spread it on the door frames of your door. And tell the people in the land of Egypt that believe in me to do the same. That night, I will pass through the land of Egypt. Everyone with blood on their door frames, they will be saved. But the ones that do not, their firstborn son will die. The firstborn son to Pharaoh, to the firstborn son of the slave girl, to the firstborn son of the cow. This will be called Passover. So we spread the word to take blood from a sacrificed lamb or goat and spread it on the door frames of your door. That night, God passed through the land of Egypt. And everyone with blood on their door frames were saved, but the ones that did not, their firstborn son died. There was large screams throughout the land of Egypt, like no one has ever heard or no one will ever hear again. But in the land of Goshen, not, any, not one dog barked at any man or animal. Pharaoh summoned us in the middle of the night with his son dead and said, leave, take your flocks and herds, take everyone, just leave. We left that night. <clears throat> the next day, Pharaoh was hungry, so he did what he always did. Food! Food! And nothing came, and no one answered. Pharaoh realized, I need my slaves back. He told his army, go get the slaves and bring them back to me. But, Aaron, myself, and the people were already at the Red Sea, and God had a plan. But the army was right behind us. And if you all remember, a couple years ago, I did Moses parting the Red Sea, and this was kind of leading up to that. The end. Now, we want to finish this out in a prayer.
Dear Jesus, we thank you and praise you for your word. It is amazing that you revealed your power and your strength in the land of ancient Egypt. Pharaoh could not stand against you, and whatever you desire will happen, because you are in control, and you will not let your people be slaves to anyone. We praise you, Lord, that you are our defender, our strength, and our present help in time of need. We trust you, and we stand with you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.